the table below shows four families and the sources of energy they use for cooking. Name of the family and the source of energy. We have Kufo, biogas and charcoal, Boma, biogas and hydroelectricity, Keni, solar and hydroelectricity, Mutiso, firewood and solar. The two families whose cooking methods have worst effect on the environment are when you look at the environment the environment is our surrounding that include both living components and the non-living components we have components like air water and soil that are found in our environment also we have plants and animals so once you pollute the environment all these things are affected in one way or the other they were looking at the methods of cooking that these families used we had mutiso mutiso used firewood and solar for the firewood it uh, it produced smoke and this smoke polluted the air also cutting down trees it reduced the number of trees in the environment therefore balancing the uh, bal balancing the nature then looking at the other families like Kenny used solar and hydroelectric energy all these are renewable sources of energy so they do not pollute the environment in any way the same with boma where biogas and hydroelectric electricity they are renewable sources when you look at kufo used biogas biogas and also there was charcoal for the charcoal also produced gases like carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide all these gases are not part of the air and they usually pollute the air so the true family that used methods of cooking or sources of energy that were not friendly to the enviro environment are Kufo and Motiso that is Motiso and Kufo a group of pupils studied how some pollutants affected water air and soil they recorded their results as shown in the diagram below. Yes means pollute. No means does not pollute. We have the pollutant. Then we have water, air and soil. We have farm chemicals. They polluted water. The no for air. Yes for soil. Sewage yes for water no for air no for soil we have the smoke from the factories they did not pollute water they polluted air and they did not pollute the soil water from the factories they polluted water they did not pollute air they did, they polluted the soil which one of the following statement is true according to the information in the table looking at the table pollutant are these things that usually make the environment impure or unclean or dirty therefore looking at the farm chemicals they polluted water 
and soil sewage polluted water only smoke polluted air only water from the farm from the factories polluted water and soil so saying that each pollutant pollutes both water and air it was wrong since for water from the factory did not pollute the air going to the next water pollutant always polluted the soil also the statement is wrong why looking at sewage they only polluted water only therefore the statement is wrong water and soil pollutant did not pollute air so looking at water and soil pollutants for example water from the factories did not pollute air looking at sewage it only polluted water only and then we have farm chemicals they polluted water and soil so the statement is true we can say that it is true that water and soil pollutant did not pollute air in any way and that now becomes the correct statement statement which one of the following methods of disposing waste material would have the worst effect on the environment the environment it means our surrounding which include air water soil plants and animals so once we pollute the environment all those components are affected in one way or the other therefore there are different ways in which now we can dispose waste materials making them less harmful to the environment for example if you are broken glasses then you can bury them under the ground or you can recycle them to make other useful products burning of the sawdust from the saw mills this one it will pollute air since the gas that is produced there that is a carbon dioxide it pollutes air which is part of the environment looking at throwing off wood ash in the chamber this one is very helpful because wood ash contains some of minerals like magnesium that is very useful to the plants also it neutralizes the acidity in the soil looking at throwing used oil in the bush also this one is very harmful since it will pollute soil also kill our animals in the soil and finally it will also pollute water when the rain comes so you'll find now out of all the pollutant that we have been given the one that will have the worst effect on the environment it is throwing of used oil into the bush since it will pollute soil it will kill animals and also it will pollute water at long last so it will have the worst effect to the environment which one of the following least pollute the environment when used as a cook used for cooking when you look at these materials that are used for cooking some of them they pr produce smoke and other 
air pollutants. Others, they destroy plants. Some of them are renewable, others are non-renewable. Therefore, looking at the counter, it will produce smoke, and this smoke will be air pollutant. When you look at the kerosene, it's one of non-renewable source of energy. Once they are used, they cannot be recycled, and they usually pollute the environment. Others, like the charcoal, it will involve cutting down of trees, thus affecting their population in the nature. Therefore, the only fuel that, that can be used for cooking and not pollute the environment, it will be biogas. Since biogas is a renewable source of energy. Also, the dung that is obtained there, it can be used as humus. So, it's so beneficial to the farmer when he uses it for cooking compared to other methods, uh, other cooking fuels like cow dung, kerosene, and charcoal. Which one of the following practices does not pollute the environment? The environment involves our surrounding, both the living and the non-living. Also, we have the major components and the minor components in the environment, all of them, they are polluted by the pollutants. So those things that usually pollute the environment, they are called pollutants. These pollutants may pollute things like water, soil, and air. In most cases, they pollute the non-living components of the environment. Therefore, some of the waste that we dispose, they do not pollute those either of those three. Starting with spilling of oil in the forest away from home, this one will pollute the soil in such a way that the oil prevents the entrance of oxygen in the soil, thus end up killing now small animals that are found in the soil like earthworms and some bacteria. We are spraying some oil in lake to kill mosquito. The presence of oil in water also it will prevent the entrance of oxygen in water and this one will kill all aquatic animals. Aquatic animals are those animals that are found or that lives in water, also including some of aquatic plants. Then looking at dumping factor waste into the river, this one will end up polluting water, and this water, this waste water might contain some of the chemicals that might interfere with the life in the sea which might end up killing sea animals and some of the plants that are found in the sea. So the only practice that will not end up polluting the environment, it will be dumping vegetable remains in the farm near home. These vegetable remains, once they decompose, they will yield humus. And this humus is very important because it contains 
minerals that are required by plant for proper development. Which one of the following materials would pollute the environment least when used as fuel? So we have materials that we use as fuel. Some are renewable, others are non-renewable. So we have the non-renewable fuels they include things like kerosene, coal, charcoal, firewood, cow dung. Once all these fuel use them, you cannot recover them. Most of them, they usually produce smoke, and this smoke is a pollutant in the environment. We have other renewable sources, of or of energy that can be used as fuels like biogas, solar energy. All these ones they do not produce smoke, therefore they do not pollute the environment or they do not pollute air which is a part of the environment that is polluted by the smoke. Therefore the fuel that will least pollute the environment it will be the biogas and when you use the renewable sources of energy they are usually replaced naturally and they cannot get exhausted therefore you end up conserving the environment instead of polluting the environment which one of the following is not an air pollutant Air pollutants are those things that makes air impure or they dirtify the air. These air pollutants include smoke pollen grains, fumes from exhaust pipes of vehicles, industrial gases, noise, all those ones we call them air pollutant. Therefore, the one that is not an air pollutant there is the gas that originate from decomposing vegetables. This gas that comes from decomposing vegetable it is not poisonous in any way. Which one of the following does not lead to destruction of the environment? When you look at the environment, this one refers to our surrounding. Our surrounding consists of non-living components like air, water, and soil and also it consists of living component that include plants and animals therefore 
when it comes to the destruction of the environment any activity that will interfere with the proper functioning or with the life of or will pollute or will hurt anything impure to either air water and soil they are called pollutant and they affect the environment in one way or the other then when we look at plants and animals that depends on air water and soil for their survival once air water and soil are polluted also they interfere with plants and animals therefore looking at the answers that we are given we have poaching in game reserve this poaching will reduce the number of animals thus creating imbalance in nature meaning that there will be more of plant than the animals then we have keeping large number of livestock in small piece of land keeping large number of animals in a small piece of land this one will lead to soil erosion there are some of the engines that facilitate soil erosion to take place therefore soil will be polluted or it will be destroyed then we have planting eucalyptus trees in the swampy areas these eucalyptus trees they usually suck or absorb a lot of water so their presence in the swampy areas will lead to drying of such as swamps and that one it will affect the, that environment because in that swamps or in those swampy areas there are animals that survive there and also there are some plants that are found there so if they end up drying because of planting of eucalyptus then you will be you will have destroyed that environment for those for that for those plants and animals therefore the only activity that will not pollute the environment or destroy the environment it will be dumping vegetable waste in the garden because when these vegetable waste when they decay they become humus which is part or which is a component of the soil the correct way to get rid of used plastic containers from the environment is to these plastic containers are soil pollutants so once they are in the soil they they interfere with absorption of water and mineral salts by the plant roots therefore they should be handled with care after the the content in them they are, has been used up so they can some people they reuse them For example, a container that contains cooking oil can be used as a water storage container or they can be recycled. Recycling means that you take back the factory, you mount them to other useful containers or other materials. Therefore the best way in which now we can clean the plastics from the environment is by recycling them. When you burn them they will produce carbon monoxide and this one will end up polluting the air. 
throwing the them to the river they will pollute water burning them in the soil they will pollute the soil so you find now it is a pollutant that can pollute both soil water and air but then by recycling them or using them then you find now you keep the environment clean but the best method is to recycle them to something else that is useful which one of the following is polluted most where a farmer uses pesticide excessively excessive use of of farm chemicals usually pollute air water and soil These farm chemicals, they will include pesticides. These pesticides are used to control pests. Also, we have fertilizers and also herbicides that controls weed. So, in the process of applying these pesticides, the farmer does that through spraying. During the spraying, these chemicals are released from the knapsack sprayer through uh, in forms of droplets. These droplets, they end up in the air and finally fall into the soil. Once in the soil, when not the rain or the rain water comes, they dissolve in that rain water and they end up polluting that water so the only thing that is polluted most in the process it's water because all those chemicals they end up back to the water from the soil so water is polluted most which one of the following would help to conserve the environment? Conserving the environment will involve using all those practices that are friendly to the environment and are not going to destroy the environment in any way. Ways like recycling materials reusing some of the materials turning them to compost manure all those are ways in which now we can conserve the environment using my uh, using methods like burning the eaves and sawdust this one will pollute the air see the gas that is produced during burning that is carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide are not part of the air therefore adding anything impure to the air you are polluted that air then from there we are burning of plastic in the soil this plastic will interfere with absorption of water and the mineral salts by roots thus affecting the development of the plant using chemical fertilizers these chemical fertilizers usually consist of the filler material which is the carrier material that carries the nutrients that are found in that, those fertilizers once the nutrients are used, these materials are left in the soil and they become soil pollutant.
Therefore, the only way we can conserve all state that can involve conservation of the environment is using wood ash to kill pests. Since wood ash is not as a, uh, it's not harmful to the environment. Which one of the following would least pollute the environment? Things that pollute the environment they are called pollutants. They pollute air, soil, and water. Therefore, when we look at air pollutant, they will include gases like sulfur and carbon dioxide from industries. Once they are released to the atmosphere, they pollute the environment and the part of the environment that is polluted is the air. Gases from exhaust vehicles also, they contain other harmful substances like lead. Also, they contain carbon dioxide and all these are air pollutants. Smoke from burning charcoal also consists of carbon monoxide. And this carbon monoxide also is air pollutant. Therefore, gases from rotting plants and animal waste, these are not pollutant. They do not pollute air in any way. Which one of the following does not pollute the air? When we look at air pollutants, they include tobacco smoking, aerosol spray, industrial gases burning of tires and plastics farm chemicals and gases from exhaust piles of vehicles. All those are air pollutant. Therefore, when we look at the choices that are given, you will find now some of them, they do not pollute the air. So we have these exhaust <coughs> gases from aeroplane. All these are gases that are not required in the atmosphere. So once they are added into the environment, they pollute air. So exhaust gases from the aeroplanes are air pollutant. Then we have smoke from burning of the charcoal. The smoke from the burning of charcoal usually contain other gases like carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Excess carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is a pollutant, while now carbon monoxide is not part of the gases that are found in the air. Therefore, addition of carbon monoxide pollutes the air. Then we have smoke from burning of domestic waste. These domestic waste might include uh, plastics, also may include polythen papers. All these polythen papers and plastic uh, material they are burnt, they usually produce soot. Also they produce carbon dioxide, which is a product of burning. 
Therefore, they end up adding more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Therefore, they become pollutant. So the only thing that does not, or the only thing that does not pollute the air, it is the gases from the decaying animal waste. Since when these animal waste decay, they release humus, and those gases are not poisonous. Which one of the following sources of electricity pollutes the environment? When you look at the environment which it refers to our surrounding, then we have those things that forms the environment that include the major and the minor. Also we have the major components and the minor components which are divided into living and non-living. When you talk of the non-living <coughs> components of the environment, they include air, water, and soil. These three are the ones that are usually polluted by the activities of man or any other activities by introdu introducing impure substances to these components. Therefore, when we look at the geothermal energy, this is formed from the steam that originates from the earth surface. You'll find now they are in the category of renewable sources of energy. These renewable sources of energy, they are energy sources that cannot get finished. They keep on recycling themselves. E.g. we can have geothermal. Since it is there and originate from the heat from the earth surface, it is natural. Then we have, also we have wind, we have solar, all those types of energies they do not pollute also in that we can include water where we have water driven generators that produce hydroelectric power but when it comes to the non-renewable sources of energy that includes all fuels fuels like petrol diesel aviation fuel all those fuels they are non-renewable once they are burned they usually produce smoke and this smoke usually contains some of the chemical substances that are released to the atmosphere polluting air so they become air pollutants therefore the source that will pollute the environment here it is the use of petrol driven generators since they will produce the smoke and this smoke usually pollutes air it's an air pollutant which one of the following practices pollutes soil air and water so when you look at soil air and water all are non-living components of the environment therefore they are polluted by several pollutants but then we have some which usually pollute specific uh, non-living components like air, water, and soil. But others, they will pollute all of them when they are used. For example, when you talk of the burning of tires and plastic, the burning of tires and plastic, they will pollute air from the gases that are there. Then also, they will pollute soil. 
since it, they do not burn completely, they leave material on the soil. Looking at the dumping of industrial waste, the dumping of these industrial waste, they will only pollute soil in the area where they are dumped. Use of the artificial fertilizers, these ones, they will pollute soil and water. Therefore, the only thing that will pollute both soil, water and air, it is use of farm chemicals. These farm chemicals, they will include things like pesticides, herbicides, and inorganic fertilizers. All these ones they are used, they usually pollute soil, air, and water. For example, when you take now the inorganic fertilizers, when they are deposited, all of them they are put in the soil. Once the nutrients are used, the filler material it remains in the soil, so it becomes soil pollutant. Other inorganic fertilizers like nitrogenous fertilizers, once they are they are left exposed. They usually pulverize to air and they had some gases that are not required in the environment. Once they also then dissolve all the chemicals, the pesticides then dissolve in water, they pollute that water in our rivers. Therefore, the use of farm chemicals pollute both soil, air and water. Driving a motor vehicle with a well-maintained engine will mainly control pollution in. When you look at gases from exhaust pipes of vehicles, it will pollute air. Air pollutants will include other things like gases from the industries gases from the ICO exhaust pipes aerosol spray farm chemicals burning of tires and the plastics so all these are air pollutant so you'll find now driving a motor vehicle with a well maintained engine does not produce these gases that pollute air Therefore, it will mainly control air pollution. The following are activities that pollute the environment. Burning charcoal in a closed room. Oil spirit from tankers. Using diesel as fuel in vehicles dumping vegetable waste which activities pollute air when we look at air pollutants air pollutants they will include things like tobacco burning they will include things like industrial gases gases like carbon dioxide carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide 
all those gases waste gases that are produced from the industries it will also include burning of plastics and tires they produce they produce gases that usually pollute air also we have aerosol spray These aerosol spray they usually contains harmful chemicals that usually destroy air and also the ozone layer. Also we have things like gases from vehicle exhaust pipe These gases that comes from vehicle exhaust pipe that comes from the burning of the diesel they usually contains a chemical substance called lead that usually pollute air also other gases that are produced there like carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide also they pollute air therefore when you look at the air pollutant that we are given there the air pollutant will be one and Three. That is burning of charcoal in closed room since it will produce carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide and then use sink diesel as a fuel in vehicle. Since we have said now they produce lead and also they produce other gases that are not friendly to the environment. Therefore the two which usually pollute air is one and three therefore the correct answer there is d which one of the following is an effect of air pollution to the non-living things when you look at the non-living things they'll include things like stones roofs that is the iron sheets and any other material that does not uh, it's not life therefore when we look at the, the air pollutants like the smoke also uh, the smoke from burning tobacco gases from exhaust vehicle pipes industrial gases aerosol spray all of them they are air pollutants Therefore, when you look at these pollutants, they affect the living, the non-living things in one way or the other. Therefore, when you talk about it impairs feasibility, here we ask ourselves, who? Ma who's? So this one should be a living thing. Either and these are animals so it interferes with animals visibility to the air for example when you burn these uh, tires and the plastic material they usually produce smog and this one interferes with our visibility how we see things in the atmosphere wilting this one is caused on plants and plants are part of the living components of the environment talk of photosynthesis it interferes with the photosynthesis also these are plants it is good to note that the living components of the environment will in include plants and animals therefore it will affect 
or it will damage ion sheets that now becomes our correct answer damages ion sheets because ion sheets are part of non-living things which one of the following components of the environment will least affected when the oil pipe bursts when you look at these oil pipes they usually carry oil once the oil spills it will pollute soil preventing now the entrance of oxygen in the soil therefore it will affect animals that live in the soil like bacteria and earthworm termites also oil spillage will also pollute water since when water passes there it will cut the oil to our rivers or to our lakes and this oil may floating on water also they interfere with entrance of oxygen in the water and therefore end up killing the aquatic plants and animals therefore the one that will be the least affected in by spearing oil from busted oil pipes it will be air oil spirit is not an air pollutant but it will pollute soil and water and in the process plants will be affected therefore air will be least affected which one of the following is the best method of anti medicine bottles after use when you look at these medicine bottles they are either made of glass or plastics these two materials they are soil pollutants when they are deposited on the soil therefore they become soil pollutants they interfere with penetration of roots and then affecting the ability of the root to absorb water and mineral salts also these plastic materials when they are burned they usually pollute the air so we cannot dispose them by burning them and of course as you know glasses cannot be burned so the best way in which now we can handle the two it by burying them deep in the pit where roots of many plants will not be able to reach therefore the correct answer there is burying them deep in the soil